Hi everyone, welcome to Karen's Corner and another Creative Wednesday video. The last few weeks and the next couple of weeks uh, I'm attending workshops by Marlene from Art by Marlene and uh, if I remember I'll put a link down below to her website. And um, this is one of the things we made. Look at this. That's gorgeous. It's with her foamy stamps. And uh, well, one of the weeks I was... Um, well, I wasn't ill. I wanted to say I was ill, but my glasses broke, as you might know, and I just couldn't see a thing. So I didn't go to the workshop, but I did see the end result, and I'm, try I'm going to try to do something like that. I have no idea how she made that, but I do know she used uh, a Wasco, Wasco, a wax based, <laughs> wax based, a wax based crayon, and some water paint. So what I'm going to do is make an autumny page. And I've got my white crayon and I'm going to make uh, leaves and you have to I think you really have to push down the crayon because later on I'll go over it with water paint and uh, I think if it's too thin you won't see it so I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing yeah you can see it a bit then we're gonna fill this whole page with leaves and then uh, I'll get back to you because this is boring to watch Okay, I think it's gonna be something like this. So, um, next I've got a water brush. There's water in here, so I don't need a pot of water. And I'm just gonna take some of the um, autumny colors. Wait, how am I gonna do that? I want lots of orange. So I'm just going to start and I think I'm going to use lots and lots of water. I hope this is, <laughs> this is going to work. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm, it starts to look pretty nice actually. So I'm just going to add some colors that I think are really nice and autumny. A bit of red, lots and lots of orange. And I think I'm gonna fast forward it. Here we go. something like this and when I went along I found out that the more darker color I use the better the leaves would pop out so I think I'm gonna go over the leaves with some kitchen roll well I'm not sure if that does anything <laughs> no not really so I'm gonna dry this with my heat tool and then I'm gonna do something really fun it turned out pretty nice and I'm really happy with the result and um, but now for the creepy part I've got an apple over here and I watched a video from I think she's called Banana Jumana or something like that I'll leave a link below and uh, YouTube said she would be a great mom vlogger so um, there was just one slight detail she doesn't have any kids <laughs> so she made a really fun video actually mocking YouTube a bit and she did all kinds of kids uh, creative activities and one of them being uh, making a pumpkin with an apple make a pumping stem pump <laughs> pumpkin whoa that's a difficult word a pumpkin stamp so I've got an apple I've got all kinds of acrylic paints and I need lots of orange I'm gonna start off with orange actually lots and lots of orange oh I hope I have enough because what I'm gonna do I think I need more <laughs> and now I have no more orange I'm gonna cut the apple in half I'll do that off-screen because it will drip on my work. <laughs> like this. This one I'll eat later. And this one I'll put in the, <laughs> in the paint. <laughs> if it works. Oh boy. 
she made it look really really easy I'm not sure if it is let me get a brush I'll just get a brush and do it a bit like this you just shoot actually just oh this looks great okay and now I'm going to try and make a pumpkin so I'm just gonna push it over here already all kinds of paint on me hmm don't really look like a pumpkin <laughs> and I'm gonna make another one over here I think it needs some more work <laughs> okay as you can see I did not do this with my kids but it looks really nice and it comes out like this but that's okay you can just uh, shape it a bit like this so actually I just could have drawn some pumpkins but it was really fun to do uh, I think it doesn't um, work as that well because there are lots and lots of uh, things underneath so it doesn't really um, I have no idea how to say this guys <laughs> I can't really make a nice print as you can see because there's all kinds of stuff underneath here so it won't really uh, make a nice print but well I've got the outlines of a pumpkin. Uh, I actually kind of like how this looks. <laughs> so I'll leave this to dry and I'll get back to you and it's going to be probably tomorrow because this needs to dry really long because I want this structure in here because I really like that. I can take it off of course but I really like it so I want to leave it like that so that's going to have to dry overnight. So I hope tomorrow is going to be a bit sunny like today, because today I have used natural lighting. Uh, but, uh, well, you'll see the difference in just a second. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning. I let this dry overnight and I really love the texture on my pumpkins. If you can see that. And this page is really better than I thought it would be. I really love this background. And now I want to uh, paint some leaves and... A curly thingies, vines, I don't know how you call that, um, and shade these pumpkins a bit. But first I think I'm gonna put the text I want to put on here so that I can paint over it if necessary. And for that I have this stencil that I'm gonna use and I wanted to use ink but because this is resist um, crayon, <laughs> what was it called? We call it Vasco, Vasco, Vasco I wanted to say, <laughs> Vasco. Um, what are they called? Let me just think. Uh, they are called wax-based crayons. <laughs> okay, wax-based crayons. So uh, I think the ink is gonna. This is gonna resist with the ink. So I'm going to use paint, and I think I'm going to use brown. So let's just get started. Um, I'm gonna put some brown on this paper. I hope it, you can see all right because it's a bit darker than yesterday but I think it's okay. So here we go. What I want to write is I love autumn. So where's the I? <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm just gonna start. Oh wait that's an H. <clears throat> Difficult. And I think I'd better use a brush for this. Well, that's okay. I, but uh, I have to dry this in between because if I'm going over it with my stencil, then I'll smear everything. So I'm gonna speed this up because uh, it'll be boring. You see, do one letter, do this for half a minute, and do another letter. So that's just boring. So You know what, this is going to take way too long, so I'm just going to stop filming. Ah, it's already all under the... <sighs> covered with brown paint. <clears throat> and uh, I'll show you when it's finished. Okay, the final letter. And it's next to the M, so that's easy. And it's got this line on here. And that's very handy because you can align it. And then they're about straight. <laughs> so... The N. And you have to be very careful not to um, 
get the paint on one of the other letters because uh, well then you get other letters on your <laughs> work but you can also put a tape over there but oh well I like to live dangerously <laughs> wow so that's the N Ah, ah, I don't think I want this to be a bit more. I need some more paint on the corner, like this. So, try it. So now for some shading. So I'm going to take some ochre yellow and a bit brown and a bit orange. There's still some left. Oh yeah. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Just gonna put a bit of light color on this side. See if I can make it look more like a pumpkin. Well, that's the same color. Let's take some brown. That's better. And shade it with some more brown on the edge. I'm just doing something. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> just something that looks nice. It doesn't have to look like a real nice painted pumpkin. Outline it a bit. Well, I'm not really a pumpkin expert, actually, but well, you can see that these are pumpkins, can you? And otherwise I'll just tell people, look, these are pumpkins. Well, I think they look nice, fit in the middle. Something like that. That's okay. So now, this needs to dry, of course, uh, I need to make those little swirly vine things. So, some green paint and maybe I need some water for this. I'll just try it with uh, this first and maybe I have to water it down a bit. Let's see what happens. Um, first... Now it already starts to look like a pumpkin. Now for the tricky part. How do I do those curly things? I'll just start with a curl. <laughs> I think I'm, I need some water. Yeah, it'll flow better and I can always go over it again. But for the first brush strokes, this is better. Looks nice. <laughs> right, now what? <laughs> uh, I'll just swirl one over here. So watch out, it won't look like the Cinderella coach. <laughs> Pumpkin coach. See how I tremble when I use a brush? I will just go... <laughs> Oh well, I have to learn everything. And there need to be little leaves on there. I have no idea what pumpkin leaves look like, but now they look like this.
<laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna leave it to dry again and then I have to think if I'm going to do something more with it, but I think I'm kind of satisfied with how it turned out. Maybe just a little bit more light in here. Um, no, I, actually I'm gonna leave it like this Ugh. <laughs> because um, I kind of like the look of those letters. I just wanted to, you know, go over it with a Posca pen or something, but I really like it. So what I'm going to do is my usual trick. Do this. over here a bit hmm. well actually that's enough <laughs> okay so it's finished guys look at this and I can put more stuff over here but um, you know with Posca pen and so but I, I really love this so I'm gonna leave it like this and this is my autumn page stamped with apples uh, they kind of look like apples as well, but uh, these are pumpkins, so you know. I uh, hope you liked my video. I hope you, I inspired you to um, go stamp with apples. <laughs> and check out the video of, I don't know her name, Banana Jenna or something. Because she has a really cute, uh, a really cute video. Now I'm getting all dirty again. Uh, so if you like my video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, just check out every Wednesday for a creative video and on other days for other videos uh, and please subscribe so groetjes from holland bye